Hey guys, it's been a while since we did a video showing you how to self-host AppSmith and today I'm going to be showing you how to self-host AppSmith using a really awesome automation platform called Restack. Restack is a platform that helps you automate your open source deployments called Stacks to any provider of your choice. But right now they only support AWS but I see them expanding to more providers in the coming months. And the best part is that Restack does all of this deployment using Kubernetes. So what this means is that that you can auto scale your instance in periods of high demand so that you're able to serve all of your users who are going to be using AppSmith and you can also pause your instances in periods of low activities such as weekends uh, so that you're able to save on some bucks. So this is a really awesome platform and I'm going to be showing you how to self-host AppSmith using Restack. So in this video I'll show you how to sign up for Restack then i'll show you how to connect your restack account to aws because we'll be using aws as our provider in this video and lastly i'll show you how to deploy appsmith with restack that has been connected to aws so that will be the scope of this video my name is continent and i'm a developer advocate at appsmith without any delay let's get started All right, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to sign up for a stack. It's really easy. There is a login sign up button. So go sign up if you haven't created an account. Then you can also log in if you already have an account and you can use the trial period to test restack and see if it works for you so i already have an account and of course i'm signed in and here i am taken to my workspace so the next thing i'm going to be showing you which is really important is connecting restack to aws so let's take a look at that next all right, so to connect with Stack to AWS, what you need to do is create a cluster. So right here in my dashboard, I'm going to go to the clusters tab and I want to create a new cluster. So let's create a cluster and I'm going to call this cluster AppSmith Restack Cluster. All right, and it's going to ask for a region. This is the region where this cluster will be deployed on AWS, so keep that in mind. And lastly, you need to supply some credentials. I already have one since this is not my first time using Restack, but I'm going to create new credentials just to show you how to do it. So we have to give this credential a name, so let's call this Restack AWS creds. All right, and we need to supply an access key and a secret key and both of these values are going to be gotten from aws so go over to your aws account i am not going to be showing you how to set up an aws account if you haven't done so already you can do a quick google search and there are lots of resources online to help you do that but once you have your aws account created and you go to your dashboard which i'm on right now you want to go to the i am section or you can also use the search bar to search for i am that's going to bring up the exact same result so let's go to i am all right so once we're here the next thing we want to do is go create a new user so i'm going to click on add users and i'll give this user a name so let's call this restart aws user all right then i am going to click on next then the next thing i need to do is make sure that this user has the administrator access permission now this can be done in two ways one you could create a user group that has that permission and add this user to the group I already have that group created and you can see that this is the admin user group but i'm not going to walk you through doing that it's really easy if you want to do that on your own uh, but an alternative approach would be to give that permission to this user explicitly so what we want to do is go to attach policies directly all right and we want to make sure that this user has the administrator access policy and that would enable restack be able to deploy applications to our aws account programmatically so this looks good so i'm going to click on next and here we can review the details of the user this looks good so i'll click on create user and we should have that user created. You can see we have the restack AWS user created. Now what we need to do is go into this user's account and get the access key and the secret key needed to connect to um, restack. So to do that, we need to go to the security credentials tab and you want to scroll down to where it says access keys. I don't have any access keys, so I'm going to create an access key 
and this access key will be for use with a third party service which is what i want i'm going to click on i understand all of this go ahead so i'm going to click on next and here let's give this access key a name so let's call this restock um access key all right and we can go on to create this access key so we have the key name which i'm going to copy over let's head back to restock i'm going to give uh paste this in right here and then i'll go back to grab the secret key so let's click on show i'm going to copy this all right and let's paste this in right here so that looks good and i have created the restock aws credential now that's all i need to create this so i'm going to click on add credential and we have that credential added and since everything is good for this cluster i'm going to click on create cluster so this is going to create a new cluster on AWS. It's going to do all of the provisioning, uh, which is configuring the computing, the networking, setting up custom domain. Then it will go on to the step of adding the add-ons or installing the add-ons, which would be uh, the SSL certificates, load balancing and analytics. And then it's going to perform some tests to make sure that this cluster is good to go. And lastly, we would deploy AppSmith on this cluster. So I'm going to give this some time and we'll come back to it once it's done. All right, so the setup is done and we have our cluster ready to go. So what I'm going to do is add applications to this cluster. So I'm just going to click on the add applications button. And here's where we can now select what apps we want to deploy to that cluster. So for this video, we're just going to be doing AppSmith. Of course, you can go deploy AppSmith and Hasura and pick whatever services you're interested in using. But let's just go with AppSmith and we're going to be using the cluster we have just created. Remember, we created the AppSmith Restart cluster. So we have that selected since it's the only cluster we have. And I'm going to click on the Add Application button. You could alternatively have gone to the Applications tab and click on the Add Application. And it's going to bring up the same UI you saw earlier. So the AppSmith Restart cluster is selected by default. And let's go on to click on the Add Application button. All right, so this is going to deploy the AppSmith image on Restack, and we need to give this some time to become available. It seems it's active, but I'm not sure it should be accessible right now, but let's see. So we have this URL to be able to access our deployment. I'm just going to click on this to open it on a new tab, and it is still starting up. So we need to give this some time to, to come up. All right, it seems AppSmith is active now. As you can see, the status is active. So let's head back and try this by reloading the window. And we can see that AppSmith is actually coming up. So this is good. And since it's a new instance, we need to set it up. So let's go ahead to set this up. I am going to say confidence. Email ID is confidence at AppSmith. Let's type that confidence at AppSmith.com. Password is my super secure password, and I'll retype that. Role engineering, just exploring, and next. Um, I'll leave this on. And then I am asked to sign in. That's strange. Okay, so let's sign in again. All right, so I'll go ahead to create a new workspace and let's add a new application. I'll go grab a table widget. So let's grab a table widget and let's grab a JSON form widget. And I'm going to have both linked by writing some JS binding. So let's do table one dot selected row. And there we have the form and the uh, table. All right, this looks good. And I can test this by deploying my app. And you can see that we have the table and the form. So this was so easy to do. And you can see the URL has everything on Restack, everything that has been managed on Restack. And we did not need to SSH into the instance on AWS to set up a Docker environment or to set up Kubernetes and all of that. All that was done by clicking on a few buttons and uh, following the form. So this was a really easy setup. All right, so this was a quick tutorial to show you how to set up 
app smith on restack of course you can expect more tutorials from us and if you love to check out restack there'll be a link in the description below for you to sign up and go give restack a try so this will be the end of today's video if you love to learn more about hosting app smith there's going to be a video here that shows you how to host app smith using docker on gcp and there'll be one more here to show you how to self-host app smith using heroku all right so that's the end of today's video till i see you next time take care bye bye